usual, we start with some side steps and work on uh, the way we move our feet, uh, always maintaining balance, building slightly on last week. We'll go from side to side, but after playing a shot on each side, I'm looking for us to have our bats ready to play a shot in between. So if I play a forehand, ready, backhand, ready, forehand, ready, and so on. And now for some keepy uppy. Recommending that we keep an L shape. So if I do it sideways on, hopefully you'll see my arm maintain an L shape. So it's a reasonable distance from my body and I'm not hitting the ball too high. Um, I'd actually like you to try doing it wrong. So if you have your arm out straight, God, how difficult is that? And if you have your arm really close, how difficult is that? There's a reason we have an L shape. It keeps a good distance. I had to do a little bit of catching. Um, to develop her focus watching the ball, so from one hand to the other, from one hand back to the other, and so on. If we combine the keepy uppy and the throwing, you will need two bats. Uh, right, and here we go. See if you can keep going. Half a minute. Four tins, soup, baked beans, etc. If you put two against the wall, dish goes there, and then two more, just so it looks like that. And have a few practice shots. And uh, obviously, I'm trying to get the ball into the dish. And Would have been lucky if that had gone in. And the dish is the target. This time we'll be doing backhands against the wall, so I hit it with my backhand, I drop and catch it with my other hand. So and if you're feeling really confident with that, then stop catching it each time and keep going. Looking for a little bit of rotation. If it helps, you can have your hand just on the edge of the table as you're playing your shot. And one of my favourites, we're going to put side steps and backhands and forehands together. So for this, we're going to play a backhand, then a forehand, backhand, then a forehand. And to do this, I'm going to move from side to side. Let's see if I can do it. So, 